Hi, I wanted to read a few scriptures to you today. Today is the 21st of August. Um, I got to see part of the total solar eclipse. It's nothing that I am real keen about seeing. I care less. My neighbor wanted to, so it's kind of something, yeah. Um, now, I know what this entails. Now, I'm going to read a few scriptures to you. Um, there's a lot of people that have been bashing and saying, oh, well, the eclipse has come and gone, or blah, blah, blah. Well, Amos 8, 9, 9 through 10 says this. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day. I will turn your feasts into mourning and all your songs into lamentations. I will bring sackcloth on every waist and baldness on every head. I will make it like morning for an only sun, and its ends like a bitter day. Behold, the days are coming, says the Lord God, that I will send a famine on the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of the hearing of the words of the Lord. That went with the total solar eclipse, meaning that the bride of Christ will be out of here. Now, today begins Elul 1. All right, problem. People are not understanding that we don't know if this is noon my time or Israel time. If that's the case, then it would be while we are asleep, noon their time. Um, I can't remember what time that is. I think it's like 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. or a.m. for them, something about noon, because their time is completely different than ours. They're seven hours ahead of me where I am at. Um, so just because it goes throughout this day, you gotta remember, their, their days start at night from sunset to sun up, to sundown to sundown, okay? That's one whole day. Ours is from sunrise to sunset. Theirs isn't like that. So, um, another thing I wanted to tell you is when the Bible says, though the vision, um, well, the vision is yet for an appointed time. Though it tarries, wait for it, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. It will surely come. Meaning, though this eclipse that everybody thinks, oh, Jesus isn't coming, Jesus isn't coming, you said he's coming, you said he's coming. Yes, we have to remember we are on Israel's time, not America. This total eclipse has to go through the whole entire United States, and it has to be at the exact same timing. When it's in Jerusalem time, where they're both coincide together. Okay, so let's get that clear. Now, secondly, I want to tell you when it said put on sackcloth. Sackcloth is a grain bag that they put for mourning. Means that they've done something wrong, used for humiliation, and they know that. I'm going to read a couple more scriptures. Habakkuk 2, 11 and 14. For the stone will cry out from the wall, and the beam from the timbers will answer it. What's that mean? The stone, okay, is crying out from the wall, and the beam answers it, meaning earthquake, because when the stone, the stones start falling, it's going to want some type of support to keep it from falling. But the timbers are answering it because the timbers go down. They crash with it because of this major earthquake. Now it says, For the earth will be filled with knowledge of the glory of the Lord as the waters cover the sea. Okay, we are given a deeper understanding of what's to come and even more so during the solar eclipse because I shall be open. Now I'm going to read Joel 2. Uh, verses 10, 12, and 16. It says, The earth quakes before them, the heavens tremble, the sun and moon grow dark, and the stars diminish their brightness, which is talking about the solar eclipse. Now therefore, says the Lord, turn to me with all your heart, with fasting, with weeping, and with mourning. Well, then it just say in Amos 8 that um, they, it will be, they will be in mourning and they need to bring sackcloth in every single waist. Or he will bring sackcloth in every waist. Now it says, um, the minister, okay, gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children and nursing babes. What's going on right now? Schools and other places are gathering together to watch the solar eclipse, including the parents. And then the very next sentence, it says, let the bridegroom 
go out from his chamber and the bride from her dressing room. Woo, that means a rapture. Okay. Who's following me? Okay, now. I was also led to Jonah chapter 3, verses 4, 5, 6. Now I'm going to read these. It says, And Jonah, which means dove, began to enter or go into the city, which is also considered a place guarded by waking or by a watch, a post and or in anguish. A day's journey, which a day's mean birth or sunrise to sunset, okay? And then it says, okay, because our day doesn't end until midnight, and midnight our time is um, 7 o'clock their time in Israel a.m., which is technically um, p.m. This It's in the evening-ish time. Their time's completely different. Let's just say that, okay? And a journey is a free access means to carry your way or come to. And he cried out and said, he appointed the answer. Forty days and forty troubles, Nineveh shall be transformed and overturned so the people of Nineveh believed God okay they called out and invited a cry they what did they do a, with a fast they covered up without food okay and they put on clothing of sackcloth used for humiliation and mourning from the greatest the largest people even the strongest even to the least the weak of them for the word or the business came and laid hands violently struck and smited upon the king of Nineveh as he arose and he stood and he was filled to be proven as he came on the scene from his authority and power. He went into hiding and he laid or delivered. He concealed himself from wrath of his robe or his garment from him and hid with sackcloth, which is with mourning and he remained worthless he remained in ashes Jeremiah 4 7 the lion has come up from his thicket and the destroyer of nations is on his way who is the destroyer the Antichrist what is going to destroy with the Antichrist the new world order he has gone forth from his place to make your land desolate your cities will be laid waste without inhabitant for this, for this, this solar eclipse, it says, clothe yourself with sackcloth, with mourning, lament and wail, for the fierce anger of the Lord has not turned back from us. Meaning, this is the sign of Jonah. This is the sign that Jesus Christ has promised to the bride that he is coming to take us out. Do not get discouraged, saints. Jesus is still coming. Though it tarry, wait for it. This is the timing. You have to be patient. It is on God's timing. We don't know the hour. Okay. We know what scripture tells us. And we know this solar eclipse is a complete sign. Okay. And then think. Seven years later on my husband's birthday. April 8, 2024. There's going to be an X where the solar eclipse begins. Why? Because it's going to mark out Babylon. It's an X directly on America. Destruction. You guys getting what I'm telling you? Jesus is coming. This is no time to play. This next 40 days for the people who are here is a time of repentance. Okay? Because the full wrath of God shall be implemented. Okay? So pray over this. Study these scriptures. We're out of time. We're out of time. The West Coast is already expecting in California a 7.7 .7 earthquake, if not bigger. If that's the case, it's going to hit the Madrid fault line, the San Andreas fault line, and hit the Madrid fault line, split America right in half, right where the eclipse is. Are you hearing what I'm telling you? Jesus is coming. Be Ready, saints. Be ready. Stay armored up. Stay prayed up fast. He's coming and he's looking for a pure, spotless bride who loves him. Who? And if you, if you are unable, okay, if, and then the
Oh, you guys got to listen. You guys got to listen to what the Holy Spirit is telling. There is going to be a darkness that has never covered this land before. A different type of darkness that which we cannot see. Because the bright people, the barley, the bride of Christ is not hidden in darkness. We are in the light. Okay. So, pray over this, guys. Jesus is still coming. He is not slack on his promises. He says he's coming. He gave us a sign. Especially for a wicked and adulterous generation. We're here on that day. This day is not ended until midnight. But yet, it would finish up the 21st for us. Which would officially begin in Luo 1. Which has already began in Jerusalem. Yet, noon would be since they are seven hours ahead, would be tomorrow for them. Whatever time that is. Which would be sometime this evening or early, early morning. So you guys, please, please, please listen to this. They are talking about already total blackouts from this thing coming. Just because it doesn't happen right then and there doesn't mean it's not coming. This is the day that the Lord has made and He promised to come rescue us. He promised to deliver us from his wrath and indignation. He promised to hide us. Now listen, saints. You guys ready? Be blessed. Hold your lamps up high. And understand that if this be my last warning, which I believe it is, if this be, and you are unable to access it because of, you know, something that happened with the communication, just know you need to go to my channel. You need to try and find me on my Facebook page. All your answers are there. You guys have got to realize this is not a time of play. Once this leaves at 2.49 p.m. from South Carolina, it's going to hit the Atlantic Ocean. Okay? It's going to hit around that area. That will be the totality of it. Because and they say, oh, what's so different about this? The difference is this solar, total solar eclipse is from land. Most total solar eclipses are for over the water, over the seas. Jesus is not playing. He's coming. And this is the sign of his coming. This is the only sign he said he will give to a wicked and adulterous generation. Be prepared in your heart's mind and soul. Repent with all fasting and mourning. Jesus loves you. Ask him into your heart and be saved from the wrath that is to come. Prove to him you love him now. Don't wait until it's too late because you're not promised your next breath. God bless.